Hi, this is Dr. Marja Nayati, and I get these questions about um, loose crowns and um, temporaries if they fall out. What uh, should patients do? And I'm in Rite Aid right now, and I wanted to show you um, what section you need to be. So if you come to the dental section, and you walk through, and you'll get to the area where you have the Ambisol, Oragel, and dental picks and so on. And what you wanna look for is one of these guys here. So recap it, this is a, this is one type of uh, cement for loose crowns. And the other would be, for example, this one here, Dentem. And this is a putty that you can put in your crown and re-cement it back on. So this is the cement that we chose out of um, the choices we had in the pharmacy. And it says recap it for cap and crown repair. And we're gonna open it up. And it is a little tube, obviously. You get to open it and poke it. It should be like a paste. Now this is your loose crown that came off. Make sure that you try it in first and know which way it goes in before you put the cement on. And then you turn it around and you just squeeze a little bit of that paste in there. You can use a tip of it, Q-tip or just the tip itself and squeeze it in there. And again, remember I made a mark on the back of it knowing which way it goes in and you go ahead and place it on the tooth, squeeze it down. If anything comes out, you just bite down on a rolled uh, piece of paper towel, and after it comes out, if it dry, when it dries up, you can just take your toothbrush and brush it off. Just keep biting on it, and it has instructions as to how long, but it's usually two or three minutes, and it should be okay. So this is a handy, thing to have while you're traveling, if you're away, if you can't get to your dentist or come see us, um, this would be a temporary way to keep those loose crowns or temporaries in until you come to our office and see us.